have signed the Artemis Accords. ISRO and NASA will launch a joint space mission in 2024. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's state visit to the United States has witnessed the first major agreement as India has decided to join the Artemis Accords. That's the big piece of breaking news that's coming in. Both sides leveraging their space power for a joint space mission in 2024. India and the United States have signed the Artemis Accords. That is the big piece of breaking news that's coming in. India and the US have signed the Artemis Accords. And what we are learning is that this historic agreement will be signed between the two sides for a space mission in 2024. That's the big piece of breaking news that's coming in. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's state visit uh, kicking off this New cooperation when it comes to the space race between the two sides, India and the US, will sign the Artemis Accords. I'm joined by my colleague Siddhant on the phone. Siddhant, give us the details. Well, that's right. So uh, when it comes to uh, tech, then it, it, uh, it involves a lot of uh, uh, sector. It involves defense, it involves manufacturing, it, it involves space. Yeah, and in fact, uh, it involves uh, semiconductor. So this particular accord, which you are referring to uh, to right now, is get, going to get signed uh, right after the bilateral talks between President Biden and Prime Minister Modi. And perhaps it's one of the key component of the of Prime Minister's state visit to United States. This is Artem's accord, and it is built on a foundation of the Outer Space Treaty of 1967. So India is not the first country signing this accord for collaboration between the space agency of USA, which is NASA, and Indian space agency, ISRO. Now, before India, uh, UAE had signed this accord in the year 2020. And in fact, uh, UAE is right now uh, working in co close collaboration with NASA, and perhaps they are sending their astronaut uh, to space. And on the same uh, lying on, or per, perhaps under the same framework, India, Indian Space Agency, ISRO is also going to collab with NASA. And in fact, they have also agreed for a joint space mission in 2024. So now this is, uh, this is very interesting that by 2024, we could expect a joint uh, mission, space mission between NASA and ISRO. And also, uh, you know, uh, uh, they, uh, other than this, uh, uh, what is, what is interesting in this particular Artem's accord, uh, is, that now both the countries will uh, do exploration and perhaps, uh, you know, uh, it, it's an it's a, it's a advanced co common vision for space exploration and for the, for the benefit of the humankind. Now, Prime Minister Modi, since his coming to power in 2014, has given immense importance to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to, to ISRO and perhaps, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, agent, the, the kind of work agency is involved in. And, and, you know, whether it's Chandrayaan or whether it's uh, with uh, all other kind of advanced technology which are being uh, put in place uh, for, 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 for the scientific means. So Prime Minister has, has always been focusing on it. Now, this is a big leap because uh, ISRO will perhaps work with NASA in, court, in, co in close coordination. Perhaps they are going to send a space mission by 2024. So it's very ambitious very significant and we could see uh, you know even indian astronaut uh, you know uh, being sent by india uh, to space maybe in nasa spaceship or or nasa using uh, uh, sri harikota or other uh, uh, space station uh, to for a launch uh, uh, as a launch site so that can also be a possibility perhaps you know once we'll get the a joint statement by uh, India and US, then we would be in a better state or perhaps better uh, position to uh, to tell our viewers what exactly Artem Accord is. But now, uh, for a better understanding of our viewers, uh, viewers, then uh, UAE had signed the same accord in 2020, and now they are sending their astronauts in NASA's spaceship, and perhaps they uh, they are working in close coordination with US with regards to space exploration. Back to you. Right. Thank you, Siddharth, for getting us that piece of breaking news. That's